Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Starting off with a fresh cup of Florida coffee. I brought my own coffee, um, Stevia. Luckily, they had uh, filters here. Didn't think about <coughs> bringing filters, but they had filters left over. I feel like a king in this place. This is just amazing. Uh, unfortunately, it's a crappy rainy day. Look at that. Nobody's on the beach. But uh, I'm just uh, trying to finish the vlog off. Yeah, it's like eight degrees Celsius. Yeah, it's pouring rain. Ah. Uh. Look, and of course, the uh, huh. the teenagers, the young adults. Yeah, there is a jet. Whoa, fighter jet. He just went over. Unbelievable. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of people in the hot tub. Uh, that hot tub is probably about 50% disease by this point. I will not go in, I'll never go in a hot tub. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of people in there for hours and hours and days. There he is, goes again. He's circling around. Hey, did you see this side? Oh boy. He might circle around again, so hang on. All right, so my feet are freezing on this concrete, but this deck is super amazing. He's gonna come around again. Come on. Can't remember what kind of fighter jet that is. It's one of the stealthy kind of ones, possibly. Hmm, did I get water on the lens? I did. Rain on the lens. Anyway, the bed in the bedroom, amazing bed. Loved it, uh, slept like a baby, wish. We're so used to having like a heavy comforter. It's, it's, you kind of felt like kept pulling, trying to pull blankets on you because you wanted that heaviness of... And Carol turned it down to 70. Carol likes it cool when we're sleeping, so... Well, it was hot in here when we got here. Yeah. Right. And so I wanted some cool air. And so we turned the air conditioner on. Oh, now I know the code. <laughs> They're gonna jump in the ocean. Of course the jet's not coming back around, oh well. So I'm gonna finish this coffee, finish the vlog for you guys and enjoy the rest of my day. almost two o'clock in the afternoon just oh just you guys saw that it just finished uploading now it takes a little bit for YouTube to process the, the data and make sure that it's 1080 yesterday uh, when I uploaded it <clears throat> somebody said oh my gosh a 40 minute vlog I can't wait I'm gonna wait for it to become 1080 I'm like and then so I checked it because I always wait until like I, I um, I hit the refresh button over and over again until I see the HD, but HD could be 720. So because these files right now are like, especially when it's a 40 minute vlog, it was almost four gigs and YouTube processes stuff way faster. If it's under two, it actually says somewhere on YouTube, try to keep your files under two gig. But when it's a 40 minute vlog, you can't, or well, you can, but then the quality sucks. So, so my vlogs recently, especially the long ones have been like four gig so you upload it and then it processes 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 and as it's kind of doing its thing it'll kind of launch it in each um quality range so i noticed and that was the first time i've noticed in all the years i've done this that it takes obviously a lot longer for it to compress it so that it or process it so that it is a 1080 file so if somebody saw it they started to watch it, I guess, and they saw it was only 720, and they said, oh, I'm gonna wait till it's 1080. And that's when I realized I have to wait until it's 1080 before I get let you guys see it. Because I don't wanna launch it, and then you guys have to wait. I just want you guys just to, as soon as it launches, I'm gonna try and always remember that it's gonna be 1080 right off the launch. So, Carol's just made lunch, 
Uh, we were deciding whether we're going to go out to lunch or stay in. And just because I'm just trying to get this vlog done and out. Uh, plus, it's crappy weather. So, it's like, miles of this stay in. It's still raining. It's still yucky. Oh, I guess it's not raining. There are people... No, it's still raining. Is it still raining? There's people playing uh, volleyball over there. So, I'm thinking maybe... Or they just don't care. They must not just they care. They must not care. They're probably drunk. Yep, drunk volleyball players. Hey, look it, they're running on the beach. Going to them. Oh, ow. I just stubbed my toe. Yeah, it's raining, but they don't care. That's all right, they're having fun. And the girls, <laughs> they're locking each other out. So Carol made uh, sandwiches and, well, she made me a sandwich. She made herself a wrap. And these are, these are the what? They're like special chips, but they're puffs. Never had them before. Never seen them before. She wanted to buy salt and vinegar chips. Poppables. Poppables. And then she Poppables. saw these Lay's. By Lay's. Poppables. Perfectly poppable crispy potato bites. New from Lay's. All right, I'm gonna grab myself a beer and then we're gonna eat some of that. Oh yeah. Carol just got up from a nap. I was watching Z Nation. I believe it's season two or three. And uh, now we're just gonna go walk around, check things out. And uh, yeah, just check out what's going on. Then we're gonna go to do dinner somewhere. And Carol was just saying, you know, she only brought two pairs of socks thinking that we're going to be either, either barefoot or sandals the whole trip. And uh, luckily there's cleaning facilities in this room so we can just throw all of our dirty clothes and recycle them throughout the trip. But I, because we were driving, I brought seven pairs of black socks, seven pairs of white socks, plus my sandals, uh, my normal shoes like these ones, and then my runners and sandals. There's my runners over there. Carol's got her sandals as well. But again, I thought I was going to be wearing my sandals most of the time. But things changed. Thanks, weather. Apparently, we brought it. That's what. That's the consensus. My aunt and uncle think that we brought it. So, uh, so we. Carol's like, oh, I wonder if we'll see any whales. So we looked up uh, the Gulf of Mexico. And there's lots of dolphins, and people have seen dolphins. I believe people have seen sharks. Uh, but they say there's about four sorry 500 wikipedia anyway says there's about 500 orcas that live in the uh the gulf of mexico but i don't know anybody around here nobody's ever said they've seen a killer whale orca but uh it's time to go you're gonna bring your keys and i'll have to bring mine okay all right let's do it just realized that it was on, on medium instead of wide angle, so the last bunch of shots I was thinking I was shooting it in wide, but no, it wasn't on wide, but it is pouring rain, it's crazy. Rainy, cold, crappy weather. <laughs> uh. Hey, I just realized hey. we can use this opportunity to clean the car with the rain. Just drive really fast on the highway. Okay, perfect. And then we'll squeegee it off. Okay. Or is this gonna get my breath? seems to be some flooding and little spots here and there, nothing major. 
but we also noticed that some of these buildings they're built on stilts because of water surges and stuff just like this one so you can park your car and stuff under there which is great and if you get a water surge it doesn't wreck your home it just wrecks your car and I was saying you know what I kind of want my car to be t be protected as well I would want my car to go up onto the stilts and I'd also have a boat just tied off to the side of the house so that when the surge comes your boat comes up with it and then you can like go to the store or the movies <laughs> drive in underwater in your boat well I guess you wouldn't be underwater at least the seat's hot I, I got, put the, the, butt warmers I got the butt warmers on. on we're in Florida with butt warmers on <laughs> that's gonna be the title of this video butt warmers <laughs> in Florida Taylor Swift butt warmers in Florida. <laughs> Clickbait. Just noticed a store over here. <laughs> Just in time for spring break. Break. Condom knowledge. How to put on a condom, maybe. I don't know. And right beside it, there's a store called The Pickle. The Pickle's right beside right the condom right store. Or it's a pickle restaurant. Uh, the Pickle something. Family the restaurant. <laughs> the Pickle Patch. <laughs> There's a restaurant I will not be eating at called the Pickled Patch. The Pickle Patch. They've got lots of, uh, I don't know what that is. I think that was supposed to be like a Park. mini putt is thing. Beach there? access. And they've got like beach all over their property. Yeah, Lisa's Kitchen. Mr. Surf's Surf Shop. Definitely want to go in there. Maybe I'll buy another surfboard bring home. Oh, there's a shark over there. Jaws. Let's go in there. This is Joe. Go in there. We should have gone into the condom shop. <laughs> just for fun. Just oh, for sh- it's a waffle house. Just for shits and giggles. Oh, there's two waffle houses on this island. If this is an island. I'm not sure if it's an island. The people in the store right now are going, oh, We have customers! That. You have to walk into the mouth of the jaws. The mouth of the jaws. All right, let's go in. done at the Jaws souvenir shop. You didn't get anything, did you? No. You're, you're, you're trying on stuff, though. We'll come back. It's a cool looking shop. They got a shark in there. Nothing like, nothing like a great white or anything. Come on. Gotta walk through puddles. This is this Florida shit. <laughs> Where to now, honey bunny? Just driving. With our hot seats. With our hot seats on. Okay. Let's go, uh, wherever. Ah. For some reason this camera is saying five minutes of video left. And that, just, that can't be, because I wiped it this morning. That was freaking me out. Hey, check it out. It's a CVs. I love calling it CVs. I know it's CVS, but it's more fun calling it CVs. Uh, this is like a back road. Because it's cold. <laughs> because it's cold and we have nothing rainy. to do. We're Canadians and <laughs> lots of gas in the tank. So we've just discovered that there's a Ron John in this area too. So we're happy about that. I love Ron John surf shop. So 
we're going to turn right here. This is Front Beach Road. No alcohol. There's like signs about dates and stuff. No alcohol out on the beach, the, on the sandy beach. And it says between March 1st and 31st. The whole month of the March. The whole month of March. The whole month of March. So after that, get wasted. Party on. Because all the young adults, college. It's right. They just uh, abuse it and cause problems. Ooh, look at all those. You can rent bikes. Dirty dicks. <laughs> Crab house. And then there's the Ripley's building right there. That is so cool. Well, no, this is that's Ripley's over there, and this is Wonder Works. And that building is completely upside down. Oops. Look at that. Hydro pole. I love it. Backyard burgers. McDonald's. Never heard of it. Huge that place. Dippin' dots. And it's that's like a I don't know, a twenty story building, but the access to your place is on the outside. It's like a, a twenty story motel. <laughs> <laughs> And there's the uh, Walmart liquor. I definitely want to go in there and check it out. Let's see if the prices are ridiculously low. We passed one restaurant called Sharky's that one of you guys told me about. And so we're going to drop by there on the way back. Just look at the menu. Right now we're just looking for Ron John Surf Shop. Oh, uh, happy hour all day. <laughs> that was the sign on the, on the restaurant or bar. Happy hour all day. And then we got Snappy Turtle Outlet Store. Seems you can rent golf carts like everywhere here. Rent me. I guess it's a fast way, easy way of getting around down here. I guess a little more fun than driving your car. But if you have brought your car down, I guess if you flew down, then you'd want to rent one of those just to get around town. But it says it says oh. you can go on the beach. Yeah, there you go. Which is just weird. Yeah. <clears throat> in the states, you guys have way more freedom than in Canada. Like you would not be allowed to drive those on the beach or drink on the beach, any beach at any time. That's just the way, this is the way it is up there. Yeah, anyway. Not that we have nice pieces, beach. Like beaches. Beaches. We do have beaches, and, but there are large chunks of ice floating off the, the shore. There's Ron John's. Just figured out uh, in the settings of my camera, and I guess maybe when I turned it on, I must have pressed something, and then it went to looping. So I think if I was recording something for longer than five minutes, it would have looped and then started recording over the stuff I already recorded if the camera wasn't shut off. So, but everything I've shot so far has been like a minute or less. All right, let's go into Ron John's. Okay. After you've talked to my mom. Okay, uh, I'm gonna, if Carol ever gets out of the car to stop texting my mom. My mom keeps texting us, so how's it going? <laughs> Love you, mom. Love you. Anyway, so now she's texting you back. Holding up my vacation. Yes, it's my vacation. thick hoodies like I like but we are coming to the summer so I might not want a thick hoodie all finished up at Ron John's got a shirt for Ben got a shirt for myself did you get anything for yourself yeah, the croquis. right the croquis which are like glass sunglasses holders and then they also float too right so if the if you drop your that's right and I uh, got a t-shirt for Leah, just 
case any of you guys don't know who Leah is. Leah is Ben's girlfriend. We haven't found anything for our daughter yet, so we'll find something for her. Hey, there's more shops over there. Do we want to just wander? Yeah, let's go wander. Or do you want to do dinner yet? What time is it? Well, it's six, but we could wander for a bit and then do dinner. Let's do some wandering. Okay. Put that in. Trunk. Okay, that's it. No more stuff for Ben. We've got the cheesies and stuff. Too much stuff. Buy one of what? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we're just looking for in the condo. There's a, I'll show it. I'll try and remember to show it to you guys. There's a picture frame and it's two sandals and it's a picture frame, two sandals. And it's really, really cool. And uh, so I thought this place would have a tropical gifts and decor, but they don't. But if you're looking for some really cool knickknacky type things, if you have like a bar outside in your backyard kind of thing, like what Paul does, they have amazing signs that you'd want to put up there. Uh, but this street is freaking amazing. And there's also Tootsie's. My uncle was telling me that there's a Tootsie's here. That's the same one as in uh, Nashville. Let's go in here. Cool. Oh, we got little weenies, and uh, this is a cinnamon. Yes, and then original. original, and that's an original back there too. Yeah, the original uh, pretzel. Pretzel. We're in Auntie Anne's. And Carol's gonna, Carol and I got a split of pretzel. He just gave us a free sample. This is pretty good. We're making it all fresh right now. Yeah. Uh, pretzel. One big pretzel. Uh, Yummy. Which one? The Right. Got our pretzels. Get a couple. Auntie Anne's. That should be good enough. Oh, you bite it first. Okay. Now that's yeah, a, that's sure a surfing pretzel. Mm -hmm. Nice. My turn. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh. Really? Really. All the others are really really dry and like dried out this you can tell it's fresh and it almost tastes like pillsbury mm. things mm. soft it's hot imagine if it just came out of the oven mm. i'm not sure how long those are going to sit in there but they're still pretty fresh mm. 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 Auntie Anne. Oh, i'd love to try the, the, the pepperoni one or the, the pizza pretzel. Imagine um, a pizza dough made out of this pretzel stuff. Yeah. And then... Get on that. So you have the pizza one. Then for dessert, you have the cinnamon one. Oh, and that cinnamon bites there too, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. How much was that? Um, three nine. Uh, pretty expensive, but... I'd say it's worth it. Mm-hmm. Go out and get it now. Now that we're all teased with that amazing little appetizer, now we gotta go over to Sharks or Sharkies. Let's see what's up there. It better be good. Bye, Pier Park. Now the sun's coming out. Look at that sun. It's trying really hard. Hooked Pier Bar and Grill. Look at that sun, that is so nice. At least once a day, you know, show yourself. Let us know you still exist. That is beautiful, beautiful. There's a cool mist on the ocean too. Yeah. The fog's coming in, sounds like a good horror movie. Not sure if you guys can see it, there's a rainbow right above that building and it goes all the way over. It's a double rainbow, man. No, it's a single rainbow. There's sharkies. Oh, look how far people are parking back. They were that way too before. Really? Yeah. And we're screwed. No. It's over. Forget it. Let's just go get it from another pretzel. Sharkies, man. We're coming. We're coming. They've got a big dead shark up front too. Totally locked out on the spot right by the front door here. But there's the rainbow. Woo! Woo. And we're right by the reef. Shockies! 
crab legs. I'm in. She's gonna. So as we were pulling in, a woman turned the corner really quick because she saw somebody leaving, but the person wasn't leaving. They just went to the car and then they sat there for a bit, making pissing everybody off. And so we went around her, and then when we came back around, we got a spot where somebody was leaving. We asked the gentleman nicely, "Are you leaving?" He's like, "Sure, yeah, we can have my spot." Yes. Welcome to Sharky's. Oh yeah. Hi. Ah, two. Oh, to see a menu first? Oh, right. I think. 30 to 40 minutes, at least. I got my shark attack drink, and it is crazy strong. But look at that cloud. It is settling in to take over Florida. It almost looks like a hurricane-style cloud. Not that I've ever seen one, but that's what it would look like if I ever saw one. If I was in a boat right now, I'd panic. <laughs> what did you were drinking? Do you remember? It's a drink. It's a drink. I didn't try that. <laughs> it's good. Oh, something cherry limeade. That's right, cherry limeade. This one's called, I'm going to be blind soon. <laughs> it means I'm driving home in, in about two hours. In two hours, after dinner. <laughs> Attack drinks and basically it is Sailor Jerry spice rum, club carob coconut rum, black cherry brandy, tropical juices, and grenadine with three ounces of rum. It has a bite and it does have a bite. Carol had one sip and she almost fell off the stairs, right? Yeah, she's but now we're drinking water. But uh, now we're sitting for dinner. I'm gonna do this thing called shark. Sharky's world famous keys platter for the big appetite grouper, gulf shrimp, you can do it grilled or blackened, crab cakes, and a half pound of steamed snow crab legs. 44 bucks. I'm in. You know what you want yet? Yes. What are you gonna get? I'm having the uh, Hawaiian chicken. Grilled chicken breast with a ter uh, teriyaki glaze, Monterey Jack cheese, and grilled pineapple. Served over rice. Good choice. I'll show you when they get here. I got my keys platter, half pound of snow crab, a grouper, fish uh, crab cakes. I, uh, those look like I can't remember what those things are called. Then we got some shrimp, got some fries. This whole meal is mine. All mine. Don't touch it. And Carol got. Was it? Uh, no, Hawaiian chicken. Hawaiian chicken with that ring. Look at that. Awesome. What you doing? Well, I'm just about to finish my crab legs. Part of the cloth. And you can use that to push out. See that meat? Can they give you butter? Again, I wasn't too happy about the, the crab patties. That's a perfect break. It came right out. You can do it in the butter. Or, they asked me if I wanted the sauce. Perfect break. And that's your typical ketchup and horseradish sauce. She was right. Blackened is amazing. I'm not sure what the other one tastes like. I think I prefer it in the butter. Oh. The grouper was amazing. Crab cakes. I wish they would, they would substitute it with something else. But they won't. Oh well. See you later. All right, we have some leftovers for tomorrow's lunch. Mine, Carol's. Couldn't finish it all. It was a lot of food. 
Uh, it came to $74.75 before the tax, after the tax, $80.07. Oh, uh, so it was well worth it. We're on vacation. We're at Sharks and we are going to go home. Carol's driving because she's had lots of water. I've been drinking all this stuff. Let's go. Sharks is happening. Okay, we're all finished up at Sharks. Uh, Beachfront restaurant. It is definitely a must. Sharkies. Sorry, Sharkies. What do I keep saying? Sharks? Sharks. Sharkies is a go out and get it now. Go out and hang out now. And it looks like it's a happening place for partying, alcoholism, <laughs> and seafoodism. Uh, if you're into that seafoodism. We got lots of food left over. So it's like eating twice for half the price. Cause that's our that's our lunch tomorrow. Anyway, uh, one of the things that happened tonight that we didn't really discuss was when we bought our first two drinks at the bar. She made our drinks, then she came back, took my visa, went away, processed the visa, came back, gave me the clipboard with the two receipts on it, and the and the visa and a pen. So I took the pen off, took my visa off, put the visa on the bar filled out the rest of the the paperwork the necessary paperwork and as I sat down my drinks empty you now people okay before you panic and like freak out it's all full of ice they won't they won't let you leave the bar with an alcoholic beverage by the way so I fill out the stuff give her a tip give her back the paperwork fold up all the paperwork put it in my wallet leave and then just as we're finishing dinner go into my visa and go into my wallet no visa card. I'm like, oh my God, where did we leave it? Because I totally forgot that I used my visa at the bar. Went back to the bar part and I said, uh, you guys find a visa? And he's like, yeah. So I just gave him my license just to show that, show, uh, prove that I was me. And uh, anyway, so, so Sharkies, you guys rock for your honesty. It was actually a patron of Sharkies who said, oh, somebody left their visa here, gave it to the bartender. The bartender took it, put it into the, into the till and it wasn't until I asked for my visa back that he gave it to me. So we're on our way home. We had a great dinner. We're gonna have a really nice lunch tomorrow, leftovers from today. And um, thanks, Carol, for coming along. You're welcome. <laughs> How, what, did, what did you like or didn't like about your dinner? There was something you didn't like? Because it had like a ter spicy teriyaki as opposed well, to teriyaki. The teriyaki sauce that came on the chicken was good. But I asked for extra teriyaki sauce, and it was like Thai sauce. It was. It was very spicy. Very spicy. So. But the salad, the, I mean the the lettuce they gave you was good. Oh well, yeah, the salad was fine. <laughs> yeah, the lettuce. Say, can I just have a little iceberg lettuce in a bowl, and then they'll 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 skip the whole. Oh, um, can I have the lettuce? I mean the salad without tomatoes, onions, green peppers. This, 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 this. Just say, can I have a bowl of iceberg lettuce? Some places put carrots in it though, so that's Can I have a like bowl it. of iceberg lettuce with carrots in it? <laughs> that's all you have to say. Okay, people? Don't be difficult. We're okay. taking the scenic route back. It's called lost. <laughs> no, not lost yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Whenever you say, I take the scenic route home. <laughs> That means I'm gonna be lost for 25 to 30 minutes. See, from there's the rental place we passed already. So yeah, I there's know a whole bunch of those places. Now we're exact screwed. Same spot, I remember. <sighs> we're not screwed. Good thing there's lots of police around here. All we have to do is do like a small misdemeanor, and they'll take us right back to our hotel with a small fine, well, no look jail at that time. That guy, he's driving on the wrong side. I of the saw road. that. Look at that. He just went right out. Yeah. Threw an empty onto the ground. No, he didn't. I don't want to get him in trouble. Look at there's another condom knowledge. We should go in there and just make fun. Do you guys of want to see us do a condom knowledge? Full on. No, not today. I want to ask the people. Well, I, ask I the want people to get ask, their feedback. Ask the people what? I want to ask the people if they want to see us do a condom. This oh, is how you involve uh, the audience. Well, let's just look at the shop. We'll look at the shop. We'll entice, we'll entice you, you with, we'll, with a little bit of rubber and a little bit of lube. Because I'm pretty sure some of these. Oh, okay. So it is open. It's a 24 hour condom shop. Okay, so let us know in the comments below if you guys want to see us do a full condom, not a review. <laughs> <laughs> Look, pimp cups, 
dance pulls. We got toys, flavored warming oils, sexy and hair. lotions, sexy wear, rolling papers. What the hell do you use rolling papers while sex? Holy shnikey. DVD starting at 99 cents. Okay, let's go. Watch the Pooty Pooty for 99 cents. Not bad. All right, and if that doesn't work out, okay, so it's either everything for a dollar or the condom shop. You guys you guys pick. You guys might, might want us to see everything for a dollar shop. Uh, you think condoms would be in there for a buck too, but anyway. So <laughs> we're gonna end this vlog off <laughs> on the stupidness of condom shopping. So you guys let us know in the what what would be the keyword that they have to type? You, ha you can you can leave a full comment on anything that happened today on the video, but you have to leave a single comment on top of your normal comment, and the word is condom. Yeah. Will your video get flagged? No. If for using that word though. They will not get flagged for condoms. Okay. Then just say condom. Okay. Yes, condom. Yes? Sure. Condom. So you have to type those two words. Yes, condom. And we will go and do a condom... What's it? Condom knowledge? Just, just, yeah, condom knowledge. As, as opposed just to condom. Do a walk around. We'll do a walk around walk and show around. all the craziness of a condom <laughs> store that look, we've never seen pier. before. Hey, look at that pier. It's long. It's made out of wood. It's probably hard. <laughs> Yes, I went there. <laughs> and the waves are going over. It's all wet. Oh, God. Stop that. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, you guys are going to love this vlog. Oh, my gosh. We're going on to the hard pier. Oh, goodness. Okay. So, we will see you guys tomorrow. Carol and I are going for a stroll, looks like. The wooden pier. Say good night, Carol. Good night. Good night. Isn't she lovely when she says good night? <laughs> <laughs>